Stick around to the end to find the eye concept that I use for absolutely all of my projects. If you keep trying to find a new icon set or you keep trying to find a new icon for your project and you go on Google and you type in like user icon SVG or user icon PNG, whatever it is, stop doing that and watch this video because I'm gonna go over the four best icon sets that you can use for your Figma projects that you can use on any project, on any file and for all your projects because these are all free and also free to use. So let's get into it. The first icon set that I'm gonna talk about is material design icons. Now I'll have all of the files and all of the plugins and all of the links in the description so you can use them for your own projects, right? Now, without a doubt, this is one of the best icon sets that I've used. It's really, really popular on Figma and there's a really good reason why. Now, keep in mind that this isn't a plugin, but it's actually a file that you can download and duplicate and have for all of your projects and you just need to copy it into your own project and you can have it there free to use, right? But let's get into the actual icon set. Why is this such a good icon set? Let's check it out. If we do a quick little zoom out right here, we'll see that there's at least like a thousand icon sets or a thousand icons that you can use right now. Now. And the reason why they're so good is because there's five different versions of this icon set. This is a really, really commonly used icon set that you, that a lot of people use for the projects. And the, the reason why is because it's really, really well done. They scale really well. It's really easy to change color. It's really easy to change what icon you're using. So let's say that we want to find something like a user, right? Or like a person, right? Well, then we know that we want to find that. So why don't we just type that in? If we type that in, we'll see that we get all these different options for a user or a person. And if we hover over it, we see what the actual icon is named. So we say this is called person underscore remove underscore alt underscore one, whatever it means, right? Now let's use the example of actually changing the color. So say that you want to change the color to be red or blue or orange for your brand, for your project. Maybe it fits better, whatever it is. So now that we have that here, we just need to keep it in frame and I'll show you guys exactly how easy it is to do this, right? If you've done this before, then you know how easy this is. But if you haven't, then check this out. All you got to do is click on this little color thing here and then you have all this color wheel and all these different colors to just change and, and have for your project. And the reason why that's so good, and I'll show you in the, one of the next few plugins here, is because not all the plugins or not all the icons that you're gonna find online are gonna be as scalable and easy to read and minimal like this one. And that comes with the price, right? Having a really good SVG just like this one makes it really, really easy to use, really legible, and it's just good design all around. Let's check out some of the other pages, right? We've got outlined. So this is just the exact same icon set, except it's outlined. So there's no fills apart, I guess, for like bookmark and heart and things that need to have a fill, right? Because they look weird without it. But say, for example, this this face here, then it, it, it doesn't have a fill with where the hair would be. So then we've got the rounded ones. So we've got, for example, this Bluetooth here that has all the corners being rounded. So maybe you want a softer look for your icons in your project, in your app, whatever it is, you want a softer look. Well, then here you have it, right? You have all this different options. We've got device options. You got file uploads. We've got hardware, communication, editor. So if you're doing something like like a type editor or a design editor, whatever it is, right? Then we've got two-tone, so maybe you need a primary color and a secondary color, you know which one to use, so maybe the gray would be your secondary and the black would be your primary. So say that we wanna actually change that, then we do exactly the same thing that we've done. We go in here, we change the vector color to be maybe red or green or blue, whatever you want, change the fill as well. And now we've got a really funky looking icon, but I mean, you get the point, right? You can just change this to be whatever you want. And then we've got the same icon set again, except it's just very hard 90 degrees angles, which can make it really super sharp for your visuals. But let's go over another icon set. Now this is also a file, but it's really, really just very, very similar, except it's less in quantity. And what I mean by that is just there's less of them, except they're just still really, really good. They still share the same function of being a variant. So you can just search it up and change the color and it'd be an SVG and be whatever you want it to be, except here's the catch. There's the same icon, except a few different ways, right? So if you've got this alarm clock here, we've got a plus or we got this different stopwatch and then this different clock. So it's kind of the same icon or the same design except a filled version and a non-filled version, except this one doesn't really give you that many options. This is more just for websites and apps, things like that. Things that you're not really gonna need to have like an air balloon icon, right? Or whatever it is that the other icon set didn't have or did have, this one wouldn't really have it because it's just more focused to apps and designs, things like that. So let's change it as a variant like we would again. So we just need to drag it to copy it or you can go into the assets panel and kind of create a new one, but we're not going to do that right now. Go over here to first page and then you click whatever you want and then it will change. And then to change the color again, you just want to unlink that and then pick whatever color you need. And there you have it. It's just right there for you to use on any of your projects for free. So now that we've seen a couple of Figma files that you can just use for any project, let's check out some actual plugins that you can use without actually having to go into another file and grabbing it. And you just always have 
these plugins, right? So why not just use a really, really good one? The first one we're gonna check out is Icons 8 Icons. And really quick, if you're enjoying this video, then let me know down below or subscribe so that I know that you actually enjoy these kind of videos and I should make more of them. But let's just get right back into the video really quick. So Icons 8 is a similar icon library where you've got a lot of different options and variables for, for colors and things like that, except the only difference is that you've got a bunch of different libraries in the same plugin. So say for example, you want color glass, right? Or, or color, whatever it is. You want a different style of icons than you see regularly or that you just saw, right? So you've got all these different icons here, but the catch is that these are all a bit more complex or a bit more colorful. So it might not be that easy to read or that legible when you scale it down super, super small. So maybe use this as a really big kind of illustration type icon on your website, something like that, right? You need to know when to actually use this. But if you want something else like dotted or fluency or whatever it is, you have all of these options. So you've got a lot more options for your icons in this plugin. Now, there is a negative side to this, which is that you need to know when to use this or even if you should use this, because say, for example, we use this icon set right here. It might be cool to look at and just fun to see, but maybe it's not really the best option for your app, right? Maybe it's not the best option for your website because your website requires something that's a bit more legible or small to read or just easier for the user to understand. And maybe these icons don't really do the trick that well. Well, then you need to know exactly when to use them, right? Let's check out another plugin that I really, really recommend. And that one is Iconify. And it's quite similar to the one that I just showed you, except it's a little bit different and a little bit better. Now, just like the first design icon set that I showed you, this plugin here has all of those icons and more, right? This icon set showcases some really, 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 really good icons, except it has a bunch of different libraries of just incredible icons. So you've got the first icon set that I showed, so material design icons. We've got that in light, so just really, really thin strokes. We've got Google material icons. So say, for example, you just want to use the same icons that Google uses, right? Why not, right? You have it already. Why not just copy the best in the business? So you've got this icon set here. So let's say for the sake of the example, we want to find a user icon, right? We type in user and this is what we've got. We've got this user here that just appears in front of us and we can change the color to be yellow, to be blue. We can change the height if we want it, a specific section or a specific size, right? Like 24 by 24. We can change the rotation, for example, if you want it to be upside down or I don't know why you would, but you have the option, right? And then you also have the code for this. So this is quite advanced, but if you are working with developers and you are working in big projects, having a plugin like Iconify or Iconify is just really, really helpful and really, really useful. The reason being is because you've got all these customizable options that you don't really have with the other ones. And this kind of makes it easy with code. It makes it easy with the line height, the flip, the rotation, the just searching for as many icons as you possibly can at your fingertips with code, with color, everything is here for you. So why not use it, right? That's, that's what I'm saying. Why not use it? If you want to find another really, really good icon set that I really recommend, check out this video here. And also you'll find four more plugins that are really, really useful. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.